Welcome back to our Podman tutorial from Zero to Hero, where we will dive deeper into Podman features and functionalities. My name is Giuseppe, I'm a senior software engineer at Amadeus. In this part, I will continue the exploration of Podman by focusing on some more advanced topics. Especially, I will explain how to pull a Docker image with Podman, run Docker images using Podman, and how to work with containers in more detail. So, let's get started. You can play with containers in the same way as you would do with Docker. But instead of using the Docker command, you have to use Podman command with all the similar flags. These are the commands that you will use in this first part of the tutorial. Podman search, Podman pull, and Podman images. With Podman pull, you can download an image from a registry. With Podman images, you can list all the images you have downloaded. I switch back to the terminal and I want to pull the busy box image. First, I use Podman search to search for the image and decide which registry to use. Okay, I want to pull the Docker IO library busy box image. I haven't specified the tag, so Podman will try to pull the latest version. Now that it's done, I can list all the images present in my system. Here is the result. The list contains only one entry because I've pulled only one image up to this point. I can see information such as the tag, when the image was created, and the repository I used to download the BusyBox image. Now that you have pulled the required container image, you are ready to run it. You have to use the commands podman run it and the image name, podman ps and podman ps with the flag a. With podman run, you can create and run a new container from an image. It's important to note that you don't need to run the command with sudo privileges, you can run podman as a normal user. What does the it flag do? It tells Podman to allocate a virtual terminal session within the container, allowing you to interact with it. You will understand more in a few minutes. When using the Podman run command, you can also add the RM option to remove the container after the execution. This is considered a best practice to avoid filling up your file system. To check if your container is running or not, you can use the command Podman PS. This command shows only the containers that are currently running. To see all containers, including those that are not running, you have to use the A flag. Let me try with the image BusyBox. Podman run the flag IT BusyBox. Remember here also to use the RM option. Great, the BusyBox container is now running and I can interact with it. I'm basically inside the container and I can use the command ls to see the content. Then I can use the command exit to quit the container. With this type of image, BusyBox, doing so, I have also stopped the container. Alternative, you can stop the container by pressing Ctrl plus C. To check how many containers are running, I use the following command, podman ps, none, right. And how many containers are stopped? I can use the same command with the flag A to show all containers in the system, including those that are not currently running. Perfect. The list contains one entry, which is the BusyBox container. Here I can see the container ID, the image from which it has been created, and other information like its status and name. Since I didn't specify the container name using the flag name, Podman generated for me a random name for the container. Now let's explore what you can do with containers. You will be using the following commands. Podman run, Podman start, start one or more container using the container IDs or names as input, Podman inspect, 
this display the low level information on containers and images identified by name or ID. Podman port lists all port mappings for the containers. Podman stop to stop the container, Podman RM to remove the container, and Podman RMI to remove the container image. Let's put these commands into practice. I will also be using a different container image, the classic and most used Nginx image. First, I will search for the Nginx container image using the command podman search Nginx. As a second step, I use podman run to create a new container from the Nginx image. This command pulls the Nginx container image if it's not already present and runs a new container with the name PDM Nginx. The name flag assigns the name to my container and the P flag maps the port 80 inside the container to the port 8080 on the host, meaning on my machine. Before moving on, I want to make a quick remark to highlight an important thing. In this tutorial, I will use the flag name to refer to object like container since it simplifies the following commands. However, this is not a best practice. As container engines are shared, if you start naming objects, you risk running into naming conflicts. How you can avoid this? Simply don't use the name option and let Podman assign a random name to your container. All the flags that I use are equivalent to that ones provided by Docker. Because I haven't specified the registry, Podman is asking me which registry I want to use. This list comes from my custom registry.com file that I've created in the part one. Okay, the container is now running. To stop it, I need just to simply press Ctrl plus C. To start the PDM Nginx container again, I can use the command podman start with the name of my container, PDM Nginx. This command starts the container in detached mode, meaning it runs in the background. To ensure that my container is running, I can use the following command, podman ps. The output shows the container image, container ID, container name, and the port mapping details. To obtain more information about the PDM Nginx container, I can use the command podman inspect with the name of the container. This command provides all the information about the container in JSON format. By examining the output, I can see the container image, I can see the name of the container image from which I generate the container, and other details about, for example, the port mapping. If I want to check only the port that the container is using, I can use the command podman port with the name of the container, PDM Nginx. Let's use the container by trying to access the localhost 8018. Perfect. This is the response from Nginx. To stop the container, which was started with the podman start, I can use the command podman stop. To confirm that the container has been stopped, I can use the command podman ps. Perfect. No containers are running. Now let's double check podman ps with the flag A. As I can see in the console, the PDM Nginx container has been stopped. Finally, to permanently remove the container that I created, I can use the command podman rm specifying the name of the container. Let's double check again 
Podman PS with the flag A. There are no containers with the name PDM and Genix. However, I've only deleted the container, not the Nginx container image that I pulled previously. Here, how to remove the container image. First, I check all the images in my system with the command podman images. Once I've identified the image ID of the container image that I want to delete, I can use the command podman rmi specify the image ID. To check that the operation has been completed successfully without any error, I can use the command podman images to see the image has been deleted. Great. If you're afraid of forgetting all the commands that you learned, don't worry. You can always use the command podman with the flag help to get the list of all the commands. For example, podman logs to retrieve all the logs of the container or podman exec to execute a command in a running container. Thank you for watching the second part of the tutorial from Zero to Hero. I hope that you find this video informative and useful for your containerization journey. In this part, we have learned how to pull a container image with Podman, run a container image using Podman, and work with container in more detail. Stay tuned for the next part of the tutorial to discover more Podman features and functionalities. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos. Thanks again and see you soon!